Thank you for joining the American Battle Monuments Commission for this special Memorial Day commemoration. As I speak, you are likely watching from your home, adhering to the guidance your local authorities have in place to keep you and your loved ones safe during this difficult time. But for the American Battle Monuments Commission, today is a historic moment. Not since World War II have we had to close our sites to the public to commemorate Memorial Day. And we do so responsibly and in keeping with the sacrifice those we honor made on behalf of us, the future generations, to keep us safe. I want to ensure our next of kin, our family members, our fellow veterans, current service members, and local community members that while we had to shutter our sites, this virtual ceremony was done with great care, consideration, and commitment to ensure our fallen are remembered. While they were separated by time and geography, the fallen soldiers whom we honored were united in one mission, to protect and preserve freedom in our American way of life. Today we might be sheltered alone, but together we honor them for their ultimate sacrifice on behalf of us all. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the American Battle Monuments Commission 2020 Memorial Day Commemoration. My name is Jeff Hayes, and as one of the 25 superintendents managing these hallowed grounds, it is my honor to represent all of the World War II American cemeteries overseas and the American Battle Monuments Commission. While we cannot gather together this year, it is our sacred duty to render honors and to remember. To that point, it is very fitting to read the words inscribed in the chapel here at the Lorraine American Cemetery. Here we and all who shall hereafter live in freedom will be reminded that to these men, women, and their comrades, we owe a debt to be paid. With grateful remembrance of their sacrifice and with high resolve that the cause for which they died shall live. Please rise and render the appropriate honors as the United States National Anthem is played and the flag is raised to full staff. It is my pleasure to introduce General Todd D. Walters, Supreme Allied Commander of Europe and Commander of the United States European Command, who joins us for recorded Memorial Day remarks. From NATO's Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe here in Mons, Belgium, I'm General Todd Walters, the Commander of the United States European Command and NATO's Supreme Allied Commander of Europe. Annually, on the final Monday of May, we pause to reflect and remember those who have given their life in service of our nation. In honor of their sacrifice, we traditionally host ceremonies at the more than 20 American memorials and cemeteries arrayed across the European continent. In these sacred gardens of stone, we honor the thousands resting in eternal glory. While these men and women were forever ripped from their fabric of their communities, they continue to be loved, mourned, and missed. Their unwavering devotion to one another, the nation they loved, 
and the cause of freedom transcend time and space. Their heroic actions strengthen our resolve and continue to inspire selfless acts of bravery in our warfighters today. Unprecedented in living memory on this Memorial Day, the coronavirus pandemic has brought grief and tremendous disruption to our world. As such, we have prudently modified many of our activities across the Euro-Atlantic to prevent transmission of the virus and preserve health of the force. While we'll be unable to stand side by side with one another at these eternal places of rest, we invite you all to visit them virtually through the American Battle Monuments Commission online presence and participate in this year's innovative remembrance with the hashtag, Alone Together We Honor. To the fallen, to their families left behind, on this Memorial Day, know we remember. Know we are so deeply thankful for these warriors. Know the men and women of United States European Command and Allied Command operations remain steadfast and vigilant in our duty to preserve the peace these heroes delivered. The world and the cause of freedom will forever be in their debt. As we reflect and remember this Memorial Day, we draw strength from the tremendous acts of perseverance and courage by those who came before us. Be assured, we will come through this together. Reese will be presented by the United States European Command and the American Battle Monuments Commission on behalf of our next of kin, family members, veterans, active duty service members, allied partners, and local communities who are here with us today in spirit and remembrance. And now we render honors with a plane of taps followed by a moment of silence in honor of those commemorated here and in the American Battle Monuments Commission World War II cemeteries throughout the world. On behalf of the ABMC, I would like to thank all the governmental and non-governmental organizations, agencies, associations, and individuals that support this year's virtual commemoration and all the Memorial Day ceremonies held every year at ABMC sites. In times of crisis and need, there are those who are willing to sacrifice all for our collective safety, protection, and prosperity. Their courage is a reminder that we are stronger together as we commemorate their sacrifice under difficult circumstances, we remember and honor them best through our resilience, partnership, and continued traditions in whatever forms they must take. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this year's virtual ceremony and for your continued support in remembrance of the fallen. We hope to welcome you at one of our ABMC sites soon and especially on Memorial Day next year to help us ensure that time will not dim the glory of their deeds.